TDV, baby. We back with another reflection on the daily Vedantic. This reflection is on a phrase that I heard heard uh, Swami say it once, and oh my God, it is a knowledge bomb that is still going off in my head. He said, unwise action destroys worlds. So much of the world around us, we, and especially within a topic like philosophy, we will talk about the virtues of wisdom. Rarely do we talk about the costs of not having any. And that one phrase says it all, unwise action destroys worlds. It's not just about you and your own demise, but it's also the fact that you will destroy worlds around you, your children's worlds, the people you lead at work, your family, the things that you say are the relationship by a dynamic you have with a parent, an in-law, multiple parents, multiple in-laws. And this phrase says it all, unwise action destroys worlds. A lot hangs in the balance between wise action and unwise action. Wisdom is, is defined as we've touched on in previous episodes. You can define it as the capacity to see the end in the beginning. And we develop wisdom. We cultivate that wisdom through the development of our intellect. Primary contribution, a central contribution, practical contribution of this philosophy is every human is made up of a body, a mind, and an intellect to navigate through the world, through our lives. Body, not groundbreaking. Everybody knows that. They have a, a body. A mind, also not groundbreaking. Everybody kind of realizes that they've got a mind, but it is the subtle equipment, the intellect, to guide the mind and to guide the body. And it's through developing the intellect that we live a great life. We can handle anything that's thrown at us. In the last episode, we talked about living a stress-free life. That is possible. And it's through the development of the intellect. The intellect is what helps cultivate this capacity to see the end in the beginning. Is this the right job? Is this the right person to work with? Is this the right spouse? Is this the right dynamic between me and my work? Am I a little too obsessed over this thing in my life? Is my addiction to caffeine, cigarettes, alcohol, is it starting to take over? Is my addiction to my work, to my reputation, has it already taken over? Is it driving the bus? These are all things that we ask ourselves when we develop the intellect, when we have this capacity to see the end in the beginning. Because at the end of the day, even a plank feels like solid ground for a little while. And so many of us are just walking straight, feeling like, well, yeah, it feels like solid ground today. That's wisdom. That's the cultivation of, of wisdom. But what happens if we don't cultivate it? What happens if we approach life unwisely? It's so easy for us to kind of have the visual because, well, we think so many other people are approaching their own lives unwisely. It's them that are going to walk off that plank or they're going to lose the job or that marriage is going to fall apart or that relationship is going to go south and they're going to be the ones in the gutter. But that's not what happens to us when we are being unwise. We are not traveling through this world solo. Our unwise actions, without that cultivation and that capacity to see the end in the beginning in our decisions and our actions, we destroy worlds. It's what this philosophy is saying, that you smother your kids, you are going to either alienate them at best or render them completely incompetent as they navigate the world at worst. That retaliation you take with that other person after they hurt you, you're signing up not only to bring them down, but it's going to come right back for you. And when it comes right back for you, are you going to be in the right mind to pick up the kids from school, to knock out that work task, to contemplate what's the most important thing you need to get done that day when you're fuming over this 
tit for tat dynamic that you yourself are authoring, it is such a profound statement. And I am constantly weary of, oh shit, am I destroying worlds with this silly or immature reaction to this scenario? Or the grander scheme, am I destroying worlds through an insatiable appetite for X, Y, or Z? The workaholic nature of so many of the circles that I'm in, am I just blindly following and not knowing, not only is it going to lead to my own blindness of what's most important, but it's also going to be the primary example that my three daughters watch, observe, and mimic each day? Are they then hypnotized to blindly value and set up for an entire large portion, if not the entirety of their life, pursuing those same things blindly because of the example they saw hour in, hour out, day in, day out, year in, year out for the first umpteen years of their lives? Unwise actions destroy worlds. Such a profound statement on the cost of not cultivating and developing a wise approach to life. It really hits home that we're not just missing out on the upside of a virtuous life, but we're actually destroying the worlds, destroying the lives of the people around us, the people we love because of that blindness. I don't mean to get too heavy here. And I know that some of these episodes, they hit hard, but nearly everyone benefits from something to wake us up from that sleepwalking before we walk off the end of that plank. That's today's episode on the Daily Vedantic. We'll see you next time.